Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Today we're gonna to go over something really, really cool. So we're gonna go through how you can build a model and then optimize your model through running scenarios and then exploring or running sensitivity on those scenarios and saying, okay, well, what is the most optimized scenario? What is the best scenario for us to achieve what we wanna achieve? And then I'm gonna show you how you can bring that all back into your data model and then be able to uh, dynamically go and search for your optimized scenario for any element within your data. I mean, this is honestly why Power BI is just, in my view, just so superior to running this type of analysis in Power BI because you have, uh, sorry, not in, in Excel, because you have the, the, the power of the data model sitting in behind here and it enables you to dynamically really drill into these scenarios and see, well, is there a difference between one elements in our, uh, our data model where the scenario is X versus another element in our data model where the scenario might be something different or this, the optimized scenario might be something different. So I've just set up a dashboard here and instead of recreating this entire dashboard, I'm gonna just walk through the steps that I actually uh, um, utilize to actually achieve this. Now, the key thing here, the key thing here is you want to start, you, you've got to get your model set up correctly or you've got to get your model set up well. So uh, I've got a, it's a pretty simple data model here. It's got, you've got your, your dates, your customers, products and regions, right? So these are your lookup tables and then they all have relationships down to your sales table. But now what I, what I did here, and I, I set this up a little while ago because what you could do in more recent versions of Power BI Desktop is you could actually uh, use the what if feature, but that is not currently in this one because this is, this is an old Power BI model. Um, so what I did is I manually went and created these three scenario uh, three scenario tables or three um, scenario supporting supporting tables where in those tables, it's, they're really simple. So in those tables, it's where I've created scenarios where we can shock demand, where we can shock the cost of something and where we can shock the price of something. If you've watched some of my other videos, I call this multi-layering of scenarios, a multi-layered a multi -layered approach to scenarios because really we're, we've got these three elements, these three, three variables that we can thread through into our calculations and then that can run you know, multiples of scenarios. I mean, there's so many different scenarios and this is ultimately how we're gonna run these sens the sensitivity uh, to, to then see, well, what's the most optimized scenario in this current environment? Um, you know, if, if one of these, uh, we were able to reach you know, this, sort of, um, this sort of forecast or this sort of scenario in our demand and this sort of scenario in our pricing or in our costs, what is the ultimate impact to our total profits or our total sales or something like that? One of the other things that I've just realized I could add uh, really effectively here is actually some dates. So I'm just gonna add a date slicer as, as we chat. Um, and I think this actually adds you know, a really strong element to, um, to the model too. Because what we can do is at the moment, at the moment we're actually, um, you know, we're actually looking at everything through time, I've just realized. So we might actually want to be able to drill into a specific time frame. Um, and then that's going to change. I mean, that's, that's, that's how awesome the model is as well. Right? The um, Power BI data model is as well, right? Is that you can um, you, you can very quickly change, you know, even the time frame, and then that's going to change the sensitivity. I mean, and there's just so much superior to anything else before. I, I just hope that you can actually see that, and hopefully you can, um, you know, you can you can see and understand exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I've done, right, is I created those. Um, I created those scenarios, those scenario supporting tables. Very simple to do. You can do it in the what if feature, the, param the what if parameter feature that's now available in, in a more updated version of Power BI. And then what I did was I went and threaded all of those different things through. And this is the multi-layered approach to scenarios. I threaded those through to my formulas, right? These are iterating functions. They, um, you can isolate any element that you are looking at in a particular row and you can shock it. And that's exactly what I've done here. But instead of sh showing like overall results, I wanna actually show the sensitivity and that is what's seriously cool. If you think about these tables, right, they're not even joined into anything in our model. They're supporting tables. They sit outside our model. I, I say they sit outside your model. And you use formula to integrate these into your model. And we're using that multi-layered approach inside of iterating functions, the scenario profits formula. We are using those inside of here to then create these sensitivities. Because if you think about it, this uh, so this chart here, right, this is showing the change in uh, a price of, um, so we've got 
uh, I've created a matrix, right? And I've I've brought in, if you, if you check out this, I've brought in for, on the rows and the columns, I've brought the, the, the change in price. So the um, the rows down here, this is the change in price. And across the top in the columns, we've got the demand change. So we can see over any time frame what the change in demand and also the change in price, forecasted price, would actually do to our results. And then with uh, within the matrix, you can use the conditional formatting. And so that's another really awesome element. You can use the conditional formatting to actually color those in. So in this case, it's going to be always a pretty obvious uh, optimization because you're always going to see in the bottom right hand side that's where the best result is going to be because obviously if um, prices prices uh, prices change and they go higher and also your demand goes higher then you're going to re receive much better much better results what what I would um what I would probably do here is you probably actually want to put it uh, and I didn't actually do this is you wanted to put you should put zero percent in here if this is the type of sensitivity type of stuff you're trying to do because you probably actually do want to home in on okay well what is the you know the forecasted result and then in and around that you're going to have okay well here are all these scenarios that we've run here's the sensitivity on the scenarios and then down here we're actually looking at okay well we've got change of demand um, up the top and we've got change in cost down the bottom so if, if costs uh, decrease and our demand increases then we're going to achieve much better results um, out the side uh, up in the top um, top right hand corner here so as I mentioned, you can change time, which is seriously amazing. But you can also, and this is this is the power of the data model. You can also uh, include any elements or any uh, you know in a dynamic way. You can really drill into aspects of your data. So anything inside my model, I could filter on my customers, my products, my regions, etc. Um, you can do multiple at the same time. You can still run these sensitivities in these very specific regions. And where this might be relevant, right? is you might have um, you know you might have uh, particular retail stores you want to dive into particular regions regional managers um, you know so on and so forth uh, customer subsets you might want to say okay well um, to our best customers we want to um, give the most promotions so we're going to reduce the pricing on uh, you know to our best customers that actually might increase demand that might um, you know and then we want to drill into just that subset of customers versus another and that's how you can really you know really produce this sort of insight at scale it's just seriously 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 amazing Okay, so I'm going to wrap things up there. I just wanted to show you how you can optimize these scenarios, right? It's basically running sensitivity analysis on the fly and how effectively and how quickly you can do it. I um, mean, all, all I've done is, I mean, this is the only, I guess, complex formula in this entire thing, um, but it just, all it requires really, I mean, it's, just, it's not that complex. All it requires is an, an understanding of iterating functions, and that's the key. You want to understand what an iterator does. An iterator iterates through every single row of a table in which you specify. In this case, it's the sales table. We're iterating through every single row. This is the uh, sales side. This is the cost side. That minus that is the profits, profits and then um, and then this is what all of these variables inside of here is, is, is integrating into this formula to then create the result. So a little bit there, right? A little bit there. But guess what? You can download this resource. All it requires small investment, and you can, um, you know, you can get this one as well as uh, many others that are aligned to enterprise DNA TV um, uh, TV videos. So uh, really, really good package there. Check out the description um, in uh, below the video. Okay, so. Hopefully you can see the potential here. I mean, the, I mean, you could take this even further, and, and in the future I'm going to show you how you can take this even further. Um, and, and it's just a matter of how you want to you know, make the visualization as compelling as possible. I've tried to add some color in here. I've tried to make it a little bit better. I mean, there's certainly more improvements you probably could make, um, but you know, it does, it, it does, uh, you know, it does does look. I would say relatively compelling. You know, there's a lot of functionality. You're getting the results that you want. There's a dynamic drilling effect that um, allows you to really drill into specific pieces of information. So heaps of really good stuff there. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up there. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to Enterprise DNA TV. New, um, new, new videos, um, new content on uh, Power BI every weekday. Okay, talk to you soon.